back to another what I eat in a day. Say good morning, girls. Here's Millie. There's Lainey. Getting ready to go to swim lessons. Here's Ren. There she is. Welcome back to another what I eat in a day video. You guys know I drink coffee every morning. So I'm starting my morning out with coffee. So I've got just some Starbucks blonde roasted coffee. And I finally, my Walmart had this in stock. My favorite caramel um, syrup from Starbucks and some light cream instead of heavy whipping cream. I found this at my grocery store and it's really good. It tastes just, it tastes good. I don't know, just, just as good. I'd have to have them like side by side to compare them. But it tastes good in it and it makes it creamy. So here's my coffee. This is, um, let me count the points. Five, six, seven, eight, eight point, nine point coffee, I believe. I've got to go back to make sure. But I'll, I'll probably put like this stuff right here. Nine point coffee, I think. But I get 41 points a day, just FYI, if nobody's ever watched any of these videos, I get 41 points a day versus my usual 23 because I am uh, nursing. So I get 41 points, so I, my coffee's always point heavy, but I have to have it sweet and good, and I have to have sweet coffee. So this is my little, I think, nine point breakfast. I'm going to put, like I said, I'll put it right there in case it's wrong, but this is my breakfast. We're headed to swim lessons this morning, so... Just a quick breakfast, which is every morning though. Got my water. Just getting water in for the day and it's lunchtime. Um, Drink my coffee for breakfast. Now I am hungry. I'm ready for lunch. I'm getting ready to cook my lunch. I know y'all saw this lunch before. I'm trying to think, did I make it in my last what I eat today? I think I did, but that's what I want for lunch. And it's like the best low point lunch. So I'm getting ready to make some lunch and cause I'm so hungry. Had this last time, but I, you guys want to see more what I eat in a day, and this is what I've been eating for the past couple weeks for lunch, and I love it. It's a three-point lunch. The shredded hash browns are two points. I think I just spit everywhere. And then the low-fat cottage cheese is one point. It's such a good combination. A very weird one, but it's so good. And so this is my little three-point lunch. I might have something to go with it, but this is it for now. Uh, lunch was so good, but I want a little something to go with it. So I'm gonna eat one of these two point chocolate caramel bars from Weight Watchers um, to kind of go with my lunch, and then I'll probably snack on something later. All right, it is about 2 30, and I need something to hold me over till supper. So I'm getting ready to make my favorite snack. You guys probably know what I'm making. Um, sorry that this video might be repetitive with some food, but I actually have not had this snack in a little while. You know what I'm making? What am I making? I'm making your favorite, favorite snack. Mm -hmm. So you guys, like I said, you probably you know what I'm making, but he, she, she loves this. <laughs> just, just um, you know, peanut butter and yeah, and and, and put banana. First, you put bananas in it. Uh huh. I'm getting you go and, into and them. I'm looking for my bowls and stuff. That up and, and put the toxic sticks in and you're done. Yeah. 
Yep. So let's see. You have to peel the banana. Gotta peel the banana. Let's go ahead and put, I do 16 grams of peanut butter. We have to this cut This is just creamy cut peanut the butter. Banana okay, that was too much. Okay, and I'm gonna heat this up. It's gonna be good. <laughs> While that's heating, I've got my banana. Banana, banana, I'm gonna go banana, ahead and just, oh, banana, will you go talk to Millie for me for just a second? Just while I get this done, she's my good helper. And then I'm gonna chop up my banana. Give me one too. You want some of this too? Yeah. Okay. A whole banana. Okay. All right, got my melted peanut butter, got my chopped up banana, and I'm just going to drizzle it all over. This is such a like filling snack, such a satisfying snack. And then I've got my mini chocolate chips, which is my favorite thing to put in here. I'm going to do two little teaspoons worth. I also love sprinkles in here too, and sometimes I do both. But I'm just going to do some mini chocolate chips and five-point snack. Three for the peanut butter, which you could use PB, PB2 as well if you like that. But just regular peanut butter, three points worth and two points worth of this so good and of course every time i make it delaney has to have it too because she's obsessed with it like i am so i'm gonna make her a bowl too it is supper time i'm getting ready to make tacos we got tacos to fix on the um meal plan this week and that just sounded really good tonight so i've got some extra lean ground beef the leanest i can find at least the leanest i could probably the leanest my husband would do at least too 96% lean ground beef. You can have four ounces of this for two points. Um, and then we're going to have hard shell tacos. We never do hard shell tacos, but it just sounded better this week. So you can have two of these for four points, or I'm going to do three of them because this is all I'm going to have. Three, four, seven points. So um, and then I'm going to just add some stuff to them. So I'm going to start cooking all of that. My ground beef, super simple, quick supper. <music> got my supper I'm eating three because mama's hungry so I got three shells seven points two points worth of ground beef one point worth of cheese and two points worth of sour cream and salsa zero so seven eight nine ten wait a minute seven eight nine ten eleven 12 points for supper and um, I don't know if I mentioned I don't think I said it I ate a little fiber one bar earlier and I forgot to show it so it was a fiber one like the coffee cake something coffee um so i ate one of those for two points so i have 20 points left for the day so now i have eight points left for the day <gasps> that's lovely i just spilled it um a little bit anyways this is supper taco sounds so good tonight one of my favorite parts of the day dessert time i'm getting ready to show you guys such a good dessert so good well, let me just warn you, if you bring this into your house, it's hard to stop eating it. 
birthday cake cool whip oh my word it's so good um i'm about to make like a little ice cream sandwich with it and this is such a good treat so good um i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna put it together and then show you guys it's super easy simplest treat so simple to make so first of all let me show you guys how many points this is because i can't remember exactly i think it's one for two tablespoons yes one point for two tablespoons three tablespoons is two points four is three okay so we're gonna do two tablespoons for one point and then we've got our chocolate graham crackers and scan it um, we're not going to do eight crackers. We're going to do four, um, which is like one long cracker, and it's two points. So we're going to put this together. Okay, so I've got my little graham crackers out here. I'm going to measure out two tablespoons, and you can really do however many you want. Just count the points for it. One and two, and that is it. <laughs> Yum, so good. There it is. And I could totally have two of these and I very well may. Um, but I'm going to stick with one right now. And that is my little ice cream sandwich. You can put it in the freezer to make it um, get a little more frozen. But I just love it like this. I keep the Cool Whip in the freezer anyways. And such a good little three-point treat. So satisfying. So good. I'm just telling you though, if you put this birthday cake ice cream in your house... It's so hard to resist it. Um, I got it at Walmart, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. And that is it. I'm going to go ahead and end this. This is the last of what I plan on eating today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this What I Eat Today. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.